Hi guys, Jordan O'Neill here, uh, Wheelcastle Decorating. So I'm on a job here at the minute. I started um, mid-morning. Um, basically what I'm doing is sealing, freeze and woodwork. Uh, the wallpaper stain. Um, so basically it's just uh, a freshen up on the paintwork. Uh, behind me here I have a six uh, panel door. And uh, I'm going to do this short video painting this door. Um, you know, um, it's not in great order. You know, uh, whoever painted the the last time, usual old story, not a great job. And uh, so what I basically am doing is I give it a good sand down. And um, I don't even know what paint is on it. As you, I don't know if you can see that, but it all looks quite patchy. I don't know. You know, if it was just coat of gloss over gloss I don't know but you can see all the wee brush marks and stuff like that there and to be honest with you you know um, uh, to do a decent job for me is give it a good sand down and two coats of satin I'm using crown uh, oil based satin on this job here uh, so um, yeah so basically when you're doing a door like this as I say preparation uh, give it a good sand down you see the handle here, um, so what I've basically done is four screws, uh, unscrewed those, didn't take the handle right off, which I've, I've said before, I just take, bring the handle out a, a couple of mil, and uh, that's basically it. Put a bit of tape around the top of your handle, a bit of tape over the top of your handle here, and that's it basically, uh, it's ready to go. So whenever you're doing a door like this, do your the the inside panels first. So you've got six of them, okay? You know you've got a wee edge here. Do your wee edge and your middle section. You know so do these here first. Whenever you're doing inside these here, okay, try and avoid going on to the face of the door. Um, because when you do that there, you don't want the the by the time you get back up to this section. You don't want the, the edge uh, starting to dry, uh, so because when it comes to actually painting this, um, it, you, you, it's very hard to get that thick edge off, you know. So if you can just bring it your brush tight in here and try to avoid that, okay. So as I say, starting these wee edges first. And I've done a few videos using this crown satin, you know, uh, it is, it's good, I, I like working with the, the oil based satin as well, you know, this stuff's really nice to work with, goes on well, covers well, and you do get a nice, uh, a nice finish with it. And whenever you brace that wee section in there, you know, just lay it off. Like so. I'm going to take these glasses off. The set on there. So you can get the gist of it there, you know, just say, you do your panels first, just bring your, your brace on that edge there and let's say try and avoid going on to the, the main surface of the door. And again, 
and just lay it off. So that's your top two panels done. So we'll move on to these two here. So as I say, do your four red edges first, top, two sides, bottom, and then do your middle section. And already this store, you know, uh, you know, just giving it a good sand down. I'm putting a good quality paint on with a good brush already has made a difference here on this door. And normally our, if you're doing a using a high gloss on a door like this, it would be an undercoat and then a coat of gloss. But uh, if I'm using oil based satin. I always give the door a good sand down and two coats of satin. There's that panel done. And as I say, you know, if you're inexperienced at doing doors and stuff, just to say, the reason why I'm saying doing it and do it in sections, it means then that you can take your time. You know, I'm not doing this for the professional decorator. I'm doing this for, you know, uh, the person who would like to paint the door and try and do it reasonably well. You know, and this is just a, a perfect example and a simple example of how to do a door like this. You know, you will get a few guys or uh, coming back, you know, painters. Uh, would you not put a wee roller under this door? You know, and uh, being an experienced decorator, yes, I, if I was doing a lot of these doors, I would use a wee roller and lay it off. But, you know, it's only one door. And it's just a simple way of showing you how to do a door like this, you know. Probably hard for you to see the paint going on here. Uh, it's getting quite dark outside, and the lighting isn't great here, you know. So I'll just drop the camera down here, and we'll do the last two panels. So there's six panels in total. Again, just do your four edges first, you know.
And it, it really does make all the difference, you know, if you buy uh, a good quality brush, you know, and, good, and as I say, use quality paint as well, of course, you know, but, uh, you know, don't be um, scrimping on any cheap brushes. These brushes that you can buy and home bargain and all for a pound for six brushes, you know. This is a, uh, a product Ice Fusion. I find it uh, an accent wee brush for, you know, doing woodwork, door frames, skirting stores, you know. There you go. Um, basically, your last panel here. And again, as I say, just bring your brush up and down the edge, trying to avoid going onto the surface there. This crown satin, you know, I haven't, and I've said this before, I very rarely uh, would thin paint down, you know, the oil based crown satin. Uh, this is straight out of the tin, it's a brand new tin that I opened. I poured it into that wee kettle, and you can see how, uh, how well it goes on. To put white spurts into that, you are really taking the goodness out of the paint, especially oil based, you know. Uh, uh, you know, satin or an oil based gloss, we don't white spurts, takes the quality out of the paint and also dulls the sheen on it. Okay, so I'll just. There's your six panels done. So, what you do next is you bring down the two middle ones here, bring the bars across here, and these two side ones. Here's your two vertical ones in the middle. Bring your two horizontal ones across next. Just lay it off, nice and light. And then these two outer ones here. As you can see that, yeah. Just be careful, there's a wee hinge on this side here. Uh, keep the paint off that.
tried doing it, but the store's finished. Um, let it dry overnight. And in the morning, I'll give it a wee light sand and put the finished coat on it. What's that one? Then bring this one down. And there's where the tape comes in handy there, you know, just, you just head on to that, tap that wee handle there. And it stops any overspray going on too, you know. There you go, just the bottom section to do now. So, just um, as I say, I just we have to pull it a wee bit. So just bring your brush just to the edge of the handle, there. and uh, just be careful. It is away from the door, but you still need to be careful. There you go. The same as we say it here, and the other knees. Then you've got this middle bar and this bottom one. So again, always bring the middle one down first. And bring your middle one across. So the bars that go across, you lay it off horizontal, pretty simple, and the ones that come down, the middle ones and these ones at the side, just lay it off vertical. And then just the two end ones here. So if you're painting a door like this, a six panel door, you know, just watch this video and just basically follow uh, the way that I'm doing it, you know, to say your middle panel, sand it down, your middle panels first, and then the, the face of the door. this one here put your sheet away Protect on the floor, and that should always be the last part of your door to do this bottom piece here.
you have it. You know, you can already see that that looks a lot better, you know, with um, just the first coat. Um, there's a wee uh, brass hook here. I screwed it off as well. The only wee hooks the door running. Obviously, take it off. And then the door dries, put it back on again. So there you have it. Uh, six panel door. Prepared. First coated. Um, again, as usual, if you have any questions, uh, again, by all means, send me any messages. Thanks again now. Bye.